Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. First thing I'd like to do today is I'd like to remember and honor a, uh, a friend of mine and uh, one of my students and uh, a, a guy who was uh, in, in this class and, and was a, a regular in this class up to about six months ago when he got sick. And that's Stan Kidzierski. And he, uh, he just died recently and went to his funeral yesterday. And um, uh, I wanted to take a moment and, and really appreciate Stan and all that he stood for, stands for, and um, all that he did. I, I, Stan was in my first ever Tai Chi class over 30 years ago, and he stayed with me the whole time. And um, we went through a lot together, and uh, it, was, it was terrific. And Stan was really a diligent practitioner. You know, speaking with his family, they said, oh yeah, Stan practice for an hour a day. And, you know, the, it, was, it was really not a good idea to interrupt him whenever he was doing his, his, his Kung Fu because he really was, was intent on that. And Stan almost died about 10 years ago and uh, he had when his esophagus burst and he was spent about four months in the hospital, lost a lot of weight and had a whole series of problems that came as a result of, of that. But, um, you, know, lost, and, you know, lost a lot of bone mass and muscle mass. And, but he, he, once he got on his feet again, he went right back into his practice and was, was very diligently working at it. And, and he actually came back to, you know, a really, an even better level of Kung Fu than he had before. And I want to share a picture with you of him. And, uh, it uh, kind of demonstrated this. So Stan's the, the, the little guy there in the middle, and, uh, and that's two of his classmates who are, who are pushing on him. And notice that Stan's there in his stocking feet and very easily neutralizing the incoming force of these two guys. Uh, just to, you know, to, to remember, these, these guys are using just muscle force at this point. You know, if they're, they're, they both are accomplished martial artists, and so they, if they were to use their Tai Chi on them, it would, you know, it'd be a different story. But, but just coming at him with physical force, Stan was easily able to neutralize this. And, and this is, he was about 70 years old in this, uh, in this photo. So he, uh, um, he, he kept after it and, and, uh, um, yeah, you can, uh, the, uh, his daughter said she was with him, uh, when he died and, uh, that he, it was basically complications from pneumonia over and over again. And it basically the system eventually quit on him, but even while he was sick, he was still, doing something for an hour a day. He was still doing that. And he loved to tune into this class. He would watch this and it gave him immense pleasure and, and satisfaction. And she said, even an hour before he's, before he died, he was, they were, he had a mask on, they were forcing oxygen into him just to good. And each, like she said, each time that that would happen, it's like, like a knife going through him. It was like, he was feeling really uncomfortable, but then she put on a video of one of our classes, and he immediately became incredibly serene and remained that way until he passed gently into the next stage, the transformation. So uh, uh, a great, a great friend, a, a wonderful Taiji brother, and uh, uh, gonna miss you, Stan. And uh, he really appreciated you guys. He uh, took great delight in, you know, the conversations that would occur on, the, on in the class and things like that. He really felt part of it, and his kids really appreciated his 
his enthusiasm for, for this thing. This was his passion. Hmm. He can't get off mute now. <laughs> it was sort of a standing joke. You're on mute, Stan. You're on mute, Stan. And uh, but uh, uh, yeah, he's uh, he'll be missed. So one of the things we uh, I'm going to segue into the, into something I want to talk about tonight. Actually, okay. Well, before we get into that, before I get into what I want to talk about tonight, I'm going to back up a second here because somebody had uh, uh, talked about getting a cold and is there anything we can do about that to uh to uh you know from an energetic standpoint to help improve our our capacity to to handle seasonal illnesses and things like that and um so let's just uh, stand up and we'll go through a, a sequence that I, I do a lot with my my, my students and uh it's a really uh, something we've done before but i like to to go through it again You don't have to do this standing, but it uh, you know you want to feel it to feel the balls of your feet. You want to feel the feel the chi. You want to open up the gates because that I think enhances it. But the first thing is um, there's a uh, the kidney twenty seven points here, right where your collarbone meets your sternum, just to the outside of that in the fleshy part. There's like a a recess there, just outside the bone, outside the sternum, and you want to press in on that and you'll probably notice that there's some, a little bit of discomfort, maybe even pain, you know, and you press in, you know, well enough to get your body's attention. So you wanna, you wanna feel that. And this is a, this is a, a, a point where the, if they're feeling tender, it's, a, it's an indication that uh, the energy is kind of backed up, maybe going in the wrong direction at this point. And so, so like I consider it like a circuit breaker to your head. So if, um, if you are feeling tenderness there, you're probably, it, it probably indicates that you need to open up the kidney 27 points. And so you just press in on that and breathe into the nose and out to the mouth like three times. Now go down to your sternum and behind the uh, second rib, there is your thymus gland. And you can, with all these, you can actually either thump them by going like this. This is a sort of a traditional way of doing it where you actually wrap it with your, your fingertips. But I like to just press in and actually feel into the uh, end of the body. So you want to, feel behind the second rib and there's your thymus gland. And this is a big part of your immune system. And so you're by breathing into the nose, out to the mouth, you're enhancing your, your immune system. Again, you can do it with a thump and rattle it. Now go to the side of your rib cage. This whole area here is, is governed by the spleen. And so pressing in a, what I like to do is find a tender spot on my rib cage and press in on that. And breathe into the nose, out to the mouth. And this helps you to metabolize, not just food and drink, but also life experience. And enhances the spleen function. Now go to the underside of your cheekbones. This is a stomach three. This helps to integrate and ground the energy. And as I do this, I like to feel the balls of my feet, particularly, and feel through the bubbling well points in my feet. Reach with the elbows, feel that connection. And 
And one more, this one's called the hookup. Basically, you're taking your middle finger in your navel, lift up on that, and the other middle finger on your third eye point, and you lift up on both of those. Breathe into the nose, out to the mouth. And, and that one, I, I feel that primarily in the, uh, in the prefrontal area of my brain, but it's bringing uh, the energy is going up the central channel and it feeds into your head. So just take a moment and allow that energy to circulate. And then step in, take a deep breath, and disappear the chi. Great, right, have a seat, please. Was that clear? Everybody, any questions on that? All good? Okay, yeah, Scott. Um, just, yeah, no, they, they all pretty much hurt, but the, this one really, this one really hurt. Oh, wow, okay. Is that the? Uh, mm -hmm. oh, both of us. Huh. Okay. Uh, 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 usually, my, my, my rule of thumb is if it hurts, cheese kind of backed up there, so, you know. Uh, Bringing your awareness to it brings the, uh, you know, unblocks whatever is is sticky points of stagnation. So, so that's good. You know, particularly if you've got a if you got a cold coming or something like that, and it's affecting your sinuses at all, this could uh, this could definitely be of, of of assistance there. You know, bringing any any you know awareness to that's going to help to circulate and move things around and clean the area out as well as give it more nutrition. Cool, so thank you. You bet. Uh, a few weeks ago, we were talking about boom meat fill. And uh, just to go back over that, the uh, it's a sort of a shorthand that I came up with years ago, teaching, teaching the guys, yeah, how do we mobilize the chi and get it into action? Because it, it, there's, a, there's a bit of a jump between like having lots of chi and being able to use it. And so this is something in push hands that, that I found is an effective way of describing how do we transform chi into jin in kind of a step-by-step -step sequential pattern and one that you can actually identify each step of the way. So the, the three steps are boom, which is just a, it was just a, a shorthand way of saying, get your three pillars in now. So I would say, okay, boom, three pillars in. And that was, that's how, where that that came got shortened to you know to boom, but it was uh, it was immediately get your three pillars in so that you're able to access the big G, get your alignment correct, open the stuck points, unkink the hose, get coherent, get all those things before you do anything. And this is you know what in the and in the classics, they talk about mobilizing the chi. And really, this is essential to doing that. To actually get your chi 
activated to such a degree that you're able to then express it through the body in an effective and um, useful way. So we getting that. So then there, the second step was meat. And that means that once you have established yourself as a wholeness, you, you tune into your the wholeness of your being, then you extend outward and meet. That is, you engage other, engage the world, engage your partner, engage whatever. So there's a first boom, get whole, get coherent, get, get in, in central equilibrium, open the, uh, open the, the, the joints, then you meet, you extend, you, you encounter another, you, you reach out to them in such a way as to contact. And then fill is the third step. And that means to then, once you've made that contact, then you allow the, um, the energy to, to uh, engage both. You become part of one system at that point. And we practiced the fill part a few weeks ago. We had, uh, we, you know, you'd grab the, your wrist and then you'd reach and, and feel the pull of the, of the hand on, on the wrist as you reached out. And so there's bringing your awareness to that. So you're, you're consciously meeting your, your, your wrist with your hand and your hand with your wrist. And there's a, that, that whenever they, they get together, that point of intersection then allows for them to become part of one system, one energy system. And if you've mobilized your chi and then you meet and then fill, then you're able to create, you're able to establish the energy system in such a way that you are able to express your intention through your energy to this boom, meet, fill. So in that picture we just saw there of Stan, that's exactly what he was doing. Boom, meet, fill. He was getting highly coherent, had his central equilibrium. He, he uh, was meeting and is unkinked the host. And in doing that, he was able to access power that was greatly in excess of what he physically was able to do. So beyond the limits of his physical body, which at that point at 70, he was, he was a little frail, but it didn't matter whenever he had the cheek cranked up and he was able to then hold off these two very big guys and, uh, you know, and was able to become part of this one big energy system. And he was the center of that energy system. So we're going to focus today on the boom part. And this is something we've done hundreds of times in this class. But what I'd like to do is to see how fast you can get it in. See how fast, as we change positions, get to a point where you can activate your boom so that you're, you, you feel your central equilibrium, you feel your energetic coherence, you feel, you've, you've um, unkinked the hose in different positions. And we're going to do it with the Wudong mountain Tai Yi Wuxing Tran form. Not much of it, just a few steps, just enough to, to really uh, feel this as, 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 as an exercise, to be able to get, get into it. Because once you have this idea, then you can do it a thousand times a day. That is, you know, you're doing dishes, you boom, you get coherent, you get central equilibrium, you 
relax, you get soon. You open the joints. You know, if you're sitting watching TV, you, ah, oh, boom, you can, you can do it then too. And so it, the, the emphasis here is on the boom part. That is, it's not just the three pillars, it's the conscious intentional activation in a shorter and shorter period of time to the point where it just becomes something that you're capable of doing anytime you want. And you also will notice as you do that, you're, your default setting will start to change. You'll start to have more and more moments where you're just feeling good. You're just feeling good. You're feeling strong and powerful and confident and, and centered and grounded and serene and clear-minded and all that, all that stuff. And uh, which goes well beyond the ability to ward off big guys or throw a punch or anything like that it's it goes into the you know our, our the very core of our being okay so why don't we stand up and let's uh let's do that Actually, let's start with the feet heels together. We're going to begin in this neutral posture. And we're going to take a moment and feel the three pillars at each, each step of the way. So we're going to spend a little time on it to start off with, just to refresh. And particularly for those people who are watching this on YouTube, you want to feel your feet, feel the feet contacting the floor, feel the balls of your feet. The weight is spread throughout the whole foot, but you're primarily focusing on the balls of the feet as your point of, of you know, those are the bullseyes. You just feel your toes. Just kind of feel them kind of touching the ground, touching the, the floor. Knees are unlocked. Reach with the crown of the head. I'm going to step a little bit closer. Um, reach with the crown of the head. Tuck in the chin and open the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. Feel those poles in opposition, your head reaching upward, the crown of your head reaching upward and sinking down through your feet and into the earth. And by doing this, we open two of the major energy gates, gates in the young Tron points, the bubbling well points in the feet, and the Bai Hui point in the, uh, at the, the top of the head. So the yin chi of the earth rises through the balls of the feet. And the yang chi of the heavens comes down through the Bai Hui. Feeling the balls of the feet allows us to open the young trend points, the bubbling well. Just as reaching with the crown of the head allows us to open the Bai Hui. Opening the Jade Pillow Gate activates the Jing Shen, the spirit of vitality. As I was talking about last week, it's like, when you open that, you're plugging into parts of the, the body-mind 
that make that integration of body and mind uh, enhance, it enhances that integration. Relax your lower back and allow your, your pelvis to level out, dropping your sacrum. Feel yourself sinking into the floor, even as you reach up with the crown of your head, lengthening your spine. You particularly notice it in the cervical vertebrae in your neck. Push away from the earth and spiral down to the left, then turn to the right and release the hip joints. We're letting go of tension in the hip joints and getting very sung hua. Reach with the elbows, your arms are slightly rounded. And this opens up the shoulder joints. Feel the clavicular notch it's as if a thread was pulling up on that, opening the chest, opening the shoulders. Feel that expansion. Point your index fingers and feel the energetic coherence throughout the whole body mind. So this is boom. This is what I mean. You want the three pillars established so that you are mobilizing the chi and it's not just your chi. It's not the chi that you have stored up in your body. It's you're plugging into the big chi. And so you become like a, like a fire hose that's directing the energy that's passing through you. Feel the ball of your right foot, set the right knee, and spiral down to the left. So you're loading up that right claw, emptying out the left leg. And feel your three pillars in this position. Boom. Now turn to the right. Feel the three pillars here. Pick up the left heel and step out. Before you shift any weight into that leg, feel the three pillars in this position. The point of this is, is that there's never a place where you are not energetically connected to the big chi. You're not, you don't break the thread. Now feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee and spiral down to the, to the right. You're loading up the, the left leg, about half your weight goes into that. So feel the, the three pillars here. And then turn, pivoting on the right heel. The weight's 50-50 now. And feel the three pillars here, boom. Feel the chi, feel the pulsing and tingling in your hands. Feel the sense of fullness throughout your whole body. Now sink down and gather. So your hands are, are palms up. Feel yourself gathering the energy. And then coming up, and 
arms are rounded. Reach with your elbows and open the shoulder joints. There should be no shoulder tension. Arms are very relaxed. Your fingers are relaxed. Yet you're extending, you're opening and reaching without any tension. Feel the three pillars, feel the balls of your feet, reach with the crown of your head. Feel yourself sum qua. Feel the energy circulating throughout. Now sink. And as you sink, rotate your forearms so the palms face outward. Relax your lower back. Feel yourself sinking down into that 50 50 stance. Feel the chi expanding outward. Now separate. Here we're separating the yin and the yang. Opening. Feel the poles in opposition there. Your hands don't want to move apart, but you're, but they're going to. Feel like there's there's rubber bands between them, wanting to pull them back, but that's okay. You're you're extending outward, and that tension there between that energetic tension between them is creating a chi flow. Feel that expansion. Boom. Feel yourself sunk into the into your into your three pillars. Feel the chi expressing itself through your body mind. A circle with the right hand, your whole body gently turns to the right as you do that circle with your left hand. Now, as you feel yourself sinking into the, the left leg as you do this, boom, feel the three pillars there. Turn to the right circle and the right hand comes down. Left hand reaches up. And step in with your right foot. You're reaching out with your right hand, reaching out with your left. All your weights in your left leg. Feel your three pillars. Barrel down to the left and step out with the right foot. Feel your three pillars here, boom. Now feel the ball of the right foot, push your right knee out, set that, sink into your right quad, spiraling down to the left and the right hand comes up and then turn. Now your right hand, you're looking at your right hand. The right hand is the yang hand, the left hand in this case is the yin hand. Feel your three pillars in this posture, feel the energy circulating. You're ready to go. Now feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right. Pivot on the left heel, push your left knee out, sink into your left quad, spiraling down to the right and then turn. Reaching with the left hand. Left hand is now yang, right hand is now yin. Feel 
your three pillars in this posture. To the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee, spiral down to the left. You're loading up the left quad. Pivot on your right heel. Right ball, push your right knee out, set that. Reach with your right elbow. Feel your three pillars here. Boom. The energy is full. Even though it's a transitional posture, at this point, it's able to do whatever you need it to do. Now we're gonna turn, reaching with the right hand. So the right hand is now young. Left-handed yin. Feel your three pillars here, boom. With the ball of the right foot, set the right knee spiral down to the right. Boom, feel that, feel that connection. Step in and feel your three pillars here. Step with your left foot, left ball, push your left knee out, set that. Spiral down to the right, reach with your left elbow. Feel the three pillars. You're mobilizing the chi. Now you turn. Boom. Feel that connection. Feel the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee, spiral down to the left. Pivot on your right heel. Right ball, push your right knee out, set that. Boom, feel that connection. Feel the arms connected up and then turn. Find your boom here. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the right, loading up the right quad, boom. Pivot on your left heel. Left ball, set the left knee. Spiral down to the right. Reach with the left elbow. Feel that connection. Boom. Turn. To the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, spiral down to the left. Right hand comes in, right foot comes in. Boom. Step with the right foot. Right ball, set the right knee, spiral down to the left. Boom. Feel that and then turn, reaching. Feel the connection, feel the energy. Turn and sink into your left legs. Feel that expansion. Turn back to center, step up. Sink. Rotate the palms forward. Boom, feel your three pillars, feel the energy, feel the chin. 
Separate the hands. Open. Open the shoulder joints. Feel the energy radiating throughout your body, expanding outward. Hands come down. Take a moment, allow your body mind to adapt to this increase of chi flow. Feel it circulating throughout your whole body. Feel every cell being nourished and, and illuminated by your chi. Step in. Deep breath. And disappear the chi. Dissolve into the emptiness. Letting go of all attachment to form. Please have a seat. Mm. How was that? Good, 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 good. You're able to adapt there, Richard. You're 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 on mute. <laughs> you're on mute, Stan. He, he was doing a stand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I got some benefit from it. I I couldn't stand for that period of time, but I I did I I followed along. You got you got the idea. Oh, absolutely. And it, it, so we did something that not everybody can do. What we just <laughs> what we just did there, but it's it's um we can adapt that to anything we do in our in our in our lives. That, right. that basic idea. By pausing and just feeling into the three pillars, boom, you know, any, any chance we get. Scott. Well, that, I mean, that form generates a lot of energy as it is, but that was, that was way above and beyond. Um, very, um, we definitely got a new grasp on being able to do it quickly. Definitely, uh, yeah. Good, good. Yeah. And you're right. The word, the it was word. only by doing that over and over again, you know, doing it and just saying, intentionally focusing on okay, making this happen, that we do develop that 
ability to implement it in a moment's notice whenever we need it. Valerie. What I noticed was um, the blocks, I, I could notice the blocks faster, quicker. And it was my wrists because my wrists would get tension, right? I really wasn't having too much problem other places, but I would notice my, my wrists were tense and I just was able to immediately, you know, relax into that. So that right. was, it was great, you know, getting there quickly and then being able to notice any blockages quickly, more quickly, um, was quite nice, quite nice. <laughs> great, <laughs> terrific. Cool. Any questions on it? Any uh, all self-explanatory? Good. The, the word the words are are actually really helpful. Uh, you know, boom. Boom. <laughs> that cues <that laughs> you to okay. Now this is where we're at. Uh, right. It's like no boom. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then the fill the fill the fill becomes like uh, like someone plugged a hose in. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Indeed. And and that's how we that's how we get the gin. Right. Make make that happen. How we, you know, and it's it's terrific. You know, I I keep going back to you know that picture of Stan, but it's you know that you know, you, you see it there. You see that <laughs> that smile on his face, like oh boy, you know you. <laughs> You're, we're plugged into something beyond the mere human. You know, it's it's into something that's that's a, a something special, and um, we have that capacity, and and beyond. This is the beginning. You know, I you know, I want to really emphasize that. You know, this is we we establish this boom. That's why it's like the first step. You know, boom. Okay. Get this, and and now what? Then where do we go? And our our possibilities are quite limitless at that point. <laughs> Terrific. Okay, let's. Uh, thank you all so much. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Maria. If you can, uh, thanks, Maria. Great to see everyone.